Hello folks and welcome to part 3 of our inverter build series. So, <clears throat> as we can, so we can hopefully see here on the uh, table we have gotten pretty much everything back together. I've got my current sensor board in, I've got my driver board in, I've got all my bus capacitors back in screwed down tightly. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to start working on our wiring harness. Now our inverter control board has got three um, IDC headers. Uh, this middle one, the 26 way or sorry 24 way one uh, handles handles IO. Um, the one on the top handles sensors, so current sensors, voltage, temperatures, that sort of thing. And the one down the bottom handles IGBT drive. So what we're going to be doing now is, uh, now this will probably bore some people to death, but we have our signals from our IGBT drivers here on individual leads. And what we have is we have a common 5 volts and ground rail, and then we have three high and three low gate drive signals in the purple and black wire here which we have flagged to tell us uh, what they are basically. So we have now got this ribbon cable tail uh, that plugs into our uh, IDC connector on our uh, mainboard. I'm sorry I heard you have the wrong one did I? Yeah. So it's the top one does the uh, IGBT driving. So what we now have is we have a bunch of uh, colours here that we need to connect to these wires uh, so that we can actually uh, put some power onto this system and the first thing that we're going to look for is that our uh, gate driver boards have got power and then we're going to look at the voltages between the emitter and the gates of uh, each of the transistors and check that we're getting a negative voltage of somewhere between 10 and 15 volts on the, the gate signifying that they're all in the off position. So we're going to get started here and I'm going to walk you, you guys through uh, a little bit of what we we have done here now the I guess the layout of the board and that is such that it was really designed to use just plain ribbon uh, to wire up all of the parts uh, but I decided to use these individual cores actually going in here to the um, to the gate drivers perhaps I should have just stuck with the plain ribbon cable but anyway it just means that we have one more step in the process which is basically joining this to this so it's just a bit of spaghetti. Uh, this ribbon here is coming from our, our current sensor and well, well general sensor card and uh, it pretty much uh, plugs in down here and uh, lets us sense current and voltage and temperature and stuff like that and I'll be going through that uh, in the next installment. So. In the meantime, we're going to concentrate on uh, pretty much getting the tails wired up here. So what I have done is there's three, uh, there's been three five volts and three ground. So I've commoned these up on the ribbon cable uh, just to give us that little bit of extra area on our cores. So basically. <clears throat> Just to run through this, my yellow is one of my VCC lines here, so this means that these ones here will be my grounds. So I've had to kind of just make a bit of a pin map here. So for example, uh, four brown is a ground, which we have here. Um, yellow is VCC, then we have the top and the bottom drives here, then we have a ground here. Uh, the next one, black, is a 5 volt, so we want to connect that to our yellow. So black and yellow um, are two of our 5 volt rails. I'm just going to twist those guys together. 
and we should have uh, one more 5 volt rail down here uh, so let's see the purple is a 0 volts which we have here and the uh, blue along beside it then is our other VCC line so we're going to connect these three together so this gives me my 5 volts and my ground uh, for my IGBTs. These two uh, here are just basically spares, we don't use them so to avoid some confusion I'm just going to snip those guys off and get shot at them. Now, so let's go ahead first of all and uh, put some solder. Yeah, it's going to be like wrestling a snake. Let me get myself one of those helping hands things would be quite helpful. So, let's put some solder on here onto these guys and what that should leave us with then is our uh, power ground and our six signals which indeed it does. So, yeah this is, it can be a bit of a challenge building up this particular design and I would very much like to uh, get involved with it and see if I could make some improvements. Um, so hopefully that's something I'm going to get to do this year. A lot of uh, pressures and stuff going on around me these days, but uh, I guess it's if you want something bad enough, you just kind of have to make it happen. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some sleeving. I prefer to use this uh, Hellerman uh, kind of silicon rubber sleeving. Uh, it's quite good. It means you don't have to heat the cable or do anything like that. The only problem is you've got to use this lube on it, which can be uh, it's a kind of a silicon lube again. But it uh, well, it does the trick, I suppose. You can complain too much about it. So basically, lube the connector and kind of work it on over the the wires, and then once there. Uh, not liking that, so I guess I'm going to have to uh, try it on the actual ones here. So, in this case, my pink is my 5 volts and my green is my ground. So, you guys are going to get the view of my head again, the old ball spot. And uh, we'll sharpen these guys down. Rid of the excess. Some Renault uh, um, battery wiring, very kindly uh, donated. So there is our ground. And uh, strip this guy out and give us our 5 volts. So once I get all this stuff wired up, don't worry, I'm not going to expose you guys to the whole thing. We'll Go for a little bit of an ad break now in a minute. Um, once we get all these signals wired up, we we'll be able to put some power to this. Uh, put some power to this card, and hopefully pass our first uh, kind of an electrical test milestone where we'll see that the gates of the transistors are being turned off. So that's kind of the aim of the game today, folks. Fortunately, this had too much pizza as well, so uh, not exactly the best uh, food to consume when one is kind of thinking, at least for me anyway. So, this is my VCC, it's my yellow and my black. Yellow, black, yes, and blue. Okay, so, then again, that's kind of hacker food, isn't it? You know, pizza and juice. I guess that uh, doesn't really work for me. Okay, there we go. There's our 5 volts. I'll just pull the sleeving over the connection like that. It tends to work quite well. So let's go for ground, and then I'm going to let you guys uh, take a break, and we'll come back once we have all these guys rigged up.
miracle of video editing that I <laughs> tend to fail at rather miserably. There we are. Okay, so there's 5 volts. No, not 5 volts. There we go. There we go. So there's 5 volts on ground. So now I've got 6 uh, drive signals and I have 6 gate drivers. So I'm going to make these guys magically connect and uh, we'll come back when we have that done and we'll power up this card and see what happens. Okay folks, so we're back. And I just rigged up a bench power supply here to uh, supply 12 volts to the inverter board and we're drawing um, about 400 milliamps. We're supplying 4.98 volts to our driver boards, which is bang on. Uh, we have an activity light on our processor card, which means that the 3.3 volt rail is up and our processor is working. I don't have the USB plugged into it at the minute, but if we did, I'm pretty sure we'd be communicating. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is connect up the fluke meter and we'll go ahead and we'll check all of the voltages on the gates of our IGBTs. With a bit of luck and a prevailing wind, they'll be where they need to be. So let's see what we get. Uh, start off down here uh, with the number one transistor. Might be a bit of effort now to get these probes in here because it's kind of tight, but let's see what we get. Okay, there's our first one. Minus 15.1 volts. Nice. Uh, let's go for our second transistor on this package. Minus 15.1 volts. Very good sign. So this transistor here is basically both halves of the brick are basically shut off. Let's try this one. Minus 15.1. And the second uh, side of the brick. Minus 15.2. It's close enough. Let me get rid of this meter here, it's only monitoring that. I was just monitoring the 5 volt rail coming up uh, with this meter here. And finally, our number uh, 3 brick here. Minus 15.1. And finally, finally, minus 15.1. Okay, folks. Uh, that is a very good initial uh, electrical test of our inverter. Um, so next phase of the operation we will be um, running the test program in the uh, processor card which basically uh, runs a 1 hertz uh, complementary square wave into the IGBTs and we'll check that the driver at the sorry that the gates are indeed reacting to that and then we'll be looking at um, actually starting to connect up some of the last things here like heatsink temperature DC bus monitoring and we start spinning some motors so thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting me thank you for all the comments we will be back very soon um, because this is fun stuff.